look at how crazy these waves are. Yeah, you can see how crispy those bad boys got. I didn't even know bacon could melt. The situation right now is not very good. I went to go visit a buddy in South Florida and Hurricane Ian was coming. So I instantly left because I'm in a van. Well, I got about halfway home to Jacksonville and everywhere was out of fuel. So I'm kind of hunkered down here. Yeah, kind of screwed. Now it's hard to tell on camera how bad it really is, but you can see all that wind blowing. The rain hasn't really started to hit us yet, but it's coming and Lola pups a little sketched out. So the camper van's still not done yet. As you can tell, I kind of just have everything thrown back there, but I guess this will be the ultimate test as to whether this camper van is gonna be ready for the trip in December or not. I'll tell you though, this van is so much better for camping in weather like this. It's so nice being able to just jump right in the back. So I think me and Lola Park are gonna go ahead and camp here tonight. The worst of the storm's supposed to hit tomorrow night. So I think we'll be fine being right next to the beach. We're just gonna have a lot of wind. Now there's not any, no parking signs here or anything. And obviously there's nobody parked here. So there's plenty of spots. We're gonna head to the store real quick, get some food, and then we'll come back, see how the storm goes. It's gotta be hard to see this wind on camera. It's gotta be at least 50 miles an hour, if not stronger. How you doing? Good. You need a 16 pound bag of ice also. It's the one? Yeah. You guys ready for the storm? <laughs> ready for the day off? <laughs> Thank you. Love you too. As you may notice, I was being a little lazy with cooking food tonight because of this storm. I just got a pan pizza, but luckily I got my oven to cook that bad boy. I know Lola Pup's hungry. If you guys haven't seen my last video, clearly you can tell the van's coming along. I got all my puck lights in. I got my ceiling all insulated. And I also got the max air fan in this bad boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this pizza apart and get cooking. Now, before we light our oven, we're gonna go ahead and test how waterproof my Max Air Fan actually is. So, we're not gonna run the fan, I'm just gonna open it so it vents a little bit. Now, these back windows also just open out, so if it does rain, all the rain's gonna run down anyway. So, we're gonna go ahead and vent it that way also. Just gotta let it preheat to 400 degrees. And she'll be set. No, the pop, are you scared of the storm? He's okay. Dude, this wind is crazy. Hurricane Ian's no joke. My whole van's like moving all around. It's whack. 
Thankfully, tonight's not the bad night. Tomorrow's a bad night. So I got to find somewhere else to bunker down tomorrow till we can get some fuel in this van. Hurricane Ian is officially a Cat 4 hurricane. There's like 100 mile hour winds right now at the beach. My whole van's like moving up and down. I'm actually on the East Coast, thank goodness. We're not getting a direct hit. Uh, we're actually not getting hit from the hurricane until tomorrow. We're just getting a lot of the wind, not a lot of the rain, but the whole van is just shaking. I mean, you can see, you see the wires like dangling. That oven is at 400 degrees, boy. I'm gonna stick this bad boy in there. I hope it fits. Oh, dude, perfect. So I don't know if I'm about to get kicked out of the spot or not. I know it's hard to see, but that is a cop right there. So started the van to turn the lights on just so he knew I wasn't out at the beach, but looks like he's leaving. I think we're good, homies. I think this pizza's done. We're about to pull this bad boy out. Bone apple tea, baby. It's a little saucy, but Still edible. Little pup still scared poopless. You want a piece, baby? Come on, come here. There you go. I guess the one benefit to being in a van during a hurricane is I'll never lose my power, baby. Got my power bank. I brought my TV. We're gonna see if I can get my hotspot to work and play some Netflix. Let's go, baby. Woo! She working. So I guess my whole family decided to use Netflix on the night of the hurricane. So YouTube it is. Cactus water is a brand new category. There are a few companies that are in that space as well. Me and Lola are gonna hunker down for the night. I will see y'all in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Oh, man, I did not sleep very well last night. This van has been rocking back and forth all night. There's been like 80 mile an hour winds. I woke up to an alert on my phone and the hurricane's actually gonna directly hit us like pretty bad starting in the next couple hours. So I'm gonna make some food real quick. You see Lola Pups kind of scared. And then we're gonna try to find somewhere else to hunker down for tonight. Cause there's no way we're staying near the beach. No way. Yeah, dude, this is nutty. The beach is literally right there. You can see people walking out there to get videos. You scared little pop? He's okay. Yeah, holy cow. All right, so we're not gonna cook breakfast here. We just got kicked out by that dude. We're gonna go find us another spot, hunker down somewhere that's safe, and then we'll get rolling. Look at how crazy these waves are, dude. Yeah, that water is up like 20 feet more than it normally is at the beach. There's gotta be 80 mile an hour winds out there. I mean, I'm getting blown around. This van's getting blown around. So we are definitely not gonna be sticking around the beach for this hurricane. We're gonna go drive around. I did find a bridge. So we might go stay up under a bridge because at least then I've got a little bit of shelter from the rain and a little bit of shelter to walk Lola to go to the bathroom. So, cause I cannot walk her in this weather. Yeah, I don't know if any of y'all have ever driven in like really high winds, but it almost feels like you've got flat tires because you're moving all around. It's almost like kind of tiring. Like you got to drive with two hands just to keep it straight. And then all of a sudden you'll get one big gust, especially driving this panel van. This thing's like a dang tight. So we just made it to this bridge. I, I thought we would actually be under it, but I guess we're not. We're right at a marina. There's a lot of boats and stuff in the background. Where I wanna park is over there up under the bridge, but there's cops right there and I don't know why. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just cook some breakfast real quick before I get kicked out. If we get kicked out of here, then we gotta find another spot and we're running low on fuel. I can't go much further. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just stay tuned. We gotta get some grub because Yaya Pop's all hungry. So on today's simple menu, we have got eggs and somewhere hiding down in this ice chest, we've got some bacon. <laughs> Ooh, we eating good this morning, baby. That's the one nice thing that I love about this stove. I mean, you get an oven, and you got a stove burner up top. I mean, it's literally the best of both worlds. You can cook whatever you want. And it's a dual burn stove, so I can cook my eggs and my bacon. So let's get this party started. All right, we need to vent. I think that wind was a little too extreme for that Max Air fan. That thing was all in the wind. In there i've definitely cooked bacon before and that shit doesn't happen so it got super smoky in here i'm not sure what i did to my bacon i had it on a low heat setting and it still burnt like to a crisp so we're not gonna eat bacon right now actually i'll probably put it in the pan but i've got everything dummy rigged in this van so my max air fan is just directly wired to my battery now as you can see these are the only two wires on the battery with quick disconnects got my Max air fan wires, and then I've got a puck light wires. Well, I've only got one wire each on the battery, so I can only run one at a time. So I had to turn my fan on because it got too smoky. Can't have the lights on at the same time. I can't wait to have this van done and have this whole electrical system done because this is getting old. So we're going for round two with the bacon. I'm gonna keep the lights off this time and keep my max air fan on so it doesn't get super smoky in here and we'll try again and hopefully it works. I don't know. Yeah, you can see how crispy those bad boys got. I didn't even know bacon could melt. <laughs> Apparently it can, so be safe guys. I would say round two of the bacon definitely went a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and grub, baby. You want some breakfast, baby? You want some breakfast? Here you go. Mmm. Perfect. Call me Chef Taylor, baby. And she's going ham too. Hey, is that good? Lola. Is it good? Is it yummy? She's like, hell yeah, dad. What do you want? A little piece of bacon? Ah, it's my food. Give you guys a quick look around on where we're gonna be camping tonight. We are at a marina. You can see that wind is coming, baby. Holy crap. And then, right there. We're gonna get back in. <laughs> Now, since it's raining, there's really not much we can do. So, we're gonna watch some TV, I guess. We are back at the beach now. I got tired of watching Netflix. Look at this wind. This wind is nutty, guys. Holy crap. This is ridiculous. The whole beach is gone. 
it's all filled up with water. That tide is high. We're pretty much getting to the worst part of the storm right now. We're not getting a lot of rain though, just a lot of wind, which I'm surprised, but I don't, hey, good for us. Well, I found a gas station that's open, but that's the problem we're having, guys. That's why your boy can't get home. Hopefully tomorrow they're restocked. So I left the beach, found this cool little residential area. There's my van in the parking lot. So we just finished the whole season of the Dahmer story. I guess we're gonna hunker down here tonight. Seems like a safe area. Taking Lola Pup out for pee -pees. I will see y'all in the morning and hopefully we can find some gas to get out of here. It's day three of being stuck in Hurricane Ian. The storm's passed, so I think we're good. I don't know. We just got a lot of wind. No rain. It's crazy. She was scared though. She doesn't like wind. I'm gonna go check out the beach, see how bad it got messed up, see if we can find some fuel, get on our way. You can see nothing really got tore up that bad. None of the roads are flooded. Looks like someone's fence fell down, but that's about it. Hey, little pup. That was taking a beating yesterday. It's crazy what Mother Nature does. Thankfully, we did not get hit too hard where I was stuck at. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find some fuel real quick and then get on the road and get home because I am beat from sleeping in this van in all this wind without the full build done. Dude, let's friggin' go. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Mama, we're heading home. Uh, it's about time, dude. No pump wrapped up. I know Lola's pumped. Cheers to getting fuel and being safe. Oh.